So windmills of your mind, it was a 24 acre property that we had next to a small little beautiful lake in Whitefield. At that time, Whitefield was just coming up, there was a huge amount of IT offices around. So the idea was to design homes for tech professionals and other guys who were very well traveled. Something on a much larger property where your design was not constrained by just the boundaries of the site. So we had 24 acres, we could do what we wanted. The land was kind of sloping towards the lake. So, we, uh, so that was uh, something that was there for us to take advantage of. Brief really was to design a combination of uh, single family homes, like on the ground, and high rise apartments. For the larger apartments, we, just, we worked out in two formats. One was uh, 6,000 square feet, every like a duplex, two levels, big garden with deck and water body and a glass deck to a light in from upstairs. And then every room opening out, so you literally take in the greenery that you plant on every floor. So that was the concept with the, with the apartments. With the homes, typically the problem really is that if you, you know, if you look at a single family housing uh, kind of project, you have, you have plots like that. Most often you'll find that homes are just placed like that, bang in the middle of every property so that you have, um, so that they're independent. But what you really end up with is narrow passages all around, not much usable space. Distance between the two homes is not too much. You can literally hear what's being said in the next home or you can smell what's being cooked. So the idea was how do we break that? How do we um, make it much nicer? So what we felt, uh, you know, works much better was to kind of make the homes like kind of an L, but back to back, something like that. Every home now had almost every space within the home opening out to this garden. So you had this garden where all the rooms opened out to that and the distance between the two homes was much larger. So you had a very open feel and so we just felt that this made a lot of sense. Of course, there was a lot of pushback uh, from the sales team that was going to sell this saying that, you know, these are not going to be individual homes, they're going to be row houses or whatever. But we said this makes common sense to do it this way, we're not going to dilute that, this is what we're going to do. Even the other smaller apartments, we kind of designed them as a plus shape with uh, like four L's, so that every apartment again is completely open and has a view of the outside and doesn't look into the next one. Since the whole theme was about blending with nature and embracing nature, so we also wanted to use materials that blend. Lots of natural materials, there's exposed brick, a little bit of exposed concrete, lots of wood, natural stone floors, so everything is very earthy, very warm, and you know, there's that immediate connection. So it's not just about bringing the outdoors in, into, a, into a very earthy space so that that continuity really you know, actually works. Very often you see these homes which are designed to show somebody else that I've got this beautiful home and you know white marble uh, and stuff. This is this was more for people to enjoy their spaces, to really feel comfortable, feel at home. We had to make sure that one wall in every room was uh, completely open, large glass panels that would just slide open and you could step out. So every space just kind of allows you to step out and enjoy the nature.